Welcome to a new session of Circuits and Networks. From today onwards, we are going to see uh, all the gear related problems, uh, especially when we are going to deal with circuits and networks. Also, parallelly, we are going to see uh, the concepts of basic electrical engineering. And also, we are going to start up with power electronics. So, in coming classes, you are going to see we are going to run uh, parallelly the gate problems which are related to circuits and networks. And parallelly, we are going to see also basic electrical engineering uh, concepts. And then we are going to shift to power electronics. So, simultaneously, we are going to see uh, uh, at least in a week, I'll try to uh, give uh, information about the circuits or basic electrical engineering or uh, power electronics. So, whenever we are going to deal with circuits and networks, we are going to see only gate related problems. Previous to that, in coming gate 2024, the electrical circuit syllabus uh, is designed in such a way that you have network elements uh, that is ideal voltage current sources, independent sources, RLC, M parameters, M is the uh, mutual end returns parameters. Then uh, again, uh, the solution of uh, circuits and networks with KCL, KVL, starter transformation, node analysis and mesh analysis this is another area you need to focus. Then third area would be network theorems, especially superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, and maximum power transfer theorem. These are the theorems which are focused uh, for gate syllabus and transient response of DC and AC networks. This is another area we need to concentrate. And fifth area is the sinusoidal steady state analysis, whether it is single phase or three phase, uh, concept related to resonance, complex power, and power factor where the questions are framed especially with AC circuits. And finally, two port networks, whether it is AC or DC, uh, in the gate exams, they are asked for two marks and one marks. So all these problems we are going to solve uh, in our coming classes, especially all the problems which were, uh, which have occurred in 2000, till 2023, we'll try to solve all the problems and we'll try to understand the concept uh, in depth and easier way to solve uh, future problems of gate exams. So first area is the network elements that is ideal voltage current sources, dependent sources, RLC parameters. For this, uh, we are going to start from the basics. Uh, example one, you can see assuming ideal elements in the circuit shown below. This is a circuit given to us. Uh, we have to obtain the voltage VAB. Uh, uh, the options are given as AB and CDs. So that is minus 3, 0, 3 and 5 volts. Uh, this question was asked uh, for gate to 2008. Of electrical paper. Uh, I think this, this question is for two marks. At that time, uh, this was a typical question. Now, it was uh, according to the syllabus point of view and according to the gate patterns of uh, current exams, it is a very easy problem. But in the year 2008, it is a typical problem. So, how to solve this problem? We'll see. First, uh, you can observe one ampere, it is in series with two ohms, and that is in series with five volts. So, this is a complete closed series network where you have the connections. There is one ampere which is flowing in 2 ohms and 5 volts and coming back to again this point B. So, the, the closed circuit has one ampere and current in series of the circuit remains the same. So, current which is flowing in 2 ohms is also one ampere. Current which is flowing in 5 volts, it is also one ampere. This you need to keep in our mind. And what it is asked? The voltage which is developed across AB, that is across <coughs> 1 ampere, we need to find out the value of VAB. So, what we have to do, just take the circuit as it is, then what we have assumed the 1 ampere, it is a series network, so it flows through 2 ohms as well as 5 volts, and this is how the current will flow in the closed circuit. <coughs> While flowing through the passive element, the current developed. Uh, the current uh, which develops the voltage across ohms would be plus on this sign and minus on this sign. So applying KVL to this closed loop, what we are going to get? Uh, see here, I have, I have unknown voltage VAB. So I'm going to start with minus VAB because negative is at downward direction. So that is why minus VAB plus 2 into 1 ampere. So 2 into 1 ampere is a drop across two ohms. And minus 5, it is taken as it is, which is given in the problem which is equal to 0. So, we have applied the KVL to this loop and we are going to get VAB is equal to minus 3 volts. So, option A is the right answer. In 
the next problem we have to find out the value of resistance in ohms so this is the problem given to us you can see easily 2 amperes it is flowing in r i need to find out the value of r this is asked in gate 2004 this is also for two marks so you take the circuit as it is and here we are assuming a voltage v at this particular node and this node is assumed to be at higher potential so v is taken at this junction and it is assumed to be at higher potential applying kcl at this node v we are going to get v at a higher potential so v minus 100 by 10 that is the current which is flowing in this branch then v by 10 that is current flowing in this branch and you have directly 2 amperes which is going away from the node v so that is why it is plus 2 is equal to 0 with this we can easily solve for v so v it is obtained here to be as 40 volts i hope this calculation is easier to understand we have assumed that v is at a higher potential and the current it is going to deliver from this higher to lower values so that is why it is v minus 100 by 10 that is the branch current over here then v by 10 this is another branch current and we have directly the value of current is given that's why it is 2 amperes taken and it is flowing uh, outside from v so that is why it is taken as positive if whatever it was uh, the arrow was on towards node voltage then we would have taken the value as minus minus 2 so I, I hope you have understood how we have framed equation 1 and 2 now it is easy for us to find out the value of r because since r is connected parallel to 10 ohms so whatever the voltage it is developed across 10 ohms the same voltage is developed across r so from ohms law we have voltage 40 what we have derived from equation 2 and the unknown resistance is r which is equal to 2 amperes the value of current so according to ohms law v equal to ir so i is given so therefore we need to find out the value of r so v by r will give you the value as 2 amperes therefore r is obtained to be 20 ohms which is the option b in third problem uh, for the circuit shown find out the current flowing through 2 ohms we have to find out the current in 2 ohms also identify the changes to be made to double the current through the 2 ohm resistance so this is what was asked in gate 2009 this is also a 2 marks problem so options were given as 5 amperes and we have to put Bs is equal to 20 volts so that we are going to get the uh, double the value of current another option 2 amperes and we have to keep the value as source voltage is equal to 8 volts if at all you keep here 8 volts here the double the volt uh, we are going to get the double the value of current as 4 amperes so actually he is asking the first to find out the value of current and then we need to find out the value of uh, doubling the voltage so this could be one option another option given as 5 amperes and we need to put is is equal to 10 amperes and the uh, option d it is 7 amperes we need to put is is equal to 12 amperes so you need to carefully observe what exactly the question is given this question is a little bit tricky why we have to see for the circuit shown we need to find out the current flowing through 2 ohm resistance first we need to find out what is the value of current which is flowing in 2 ohm resistance that could be 5 amperes 2 amperes 5 amperes or 7 amperes first confirm this answer <coughs> so here uh, we can easily observe that voltage source vs that is 4 volts current source 5 amperes and 2 ohm resistance or are connected in parallel so since or are connected in parallel voltage will dominate and uh, voltage remains the same so in fact 4 volts is applied across 5 amperes the same 4 volts is applied across 2 ohms so what could be the value of current through 2 ohms the current will be 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 amperes so the first option uh, you can directly look into the given options that is 5 amperes is not the right answer 2 amperes uh, this could be the right answer why because no other option we have 2 amperes so 101 percent B is our answer and cross checking whether the uh, next uh, constraint is matching to the given formula we have to also identify the changes to be made to double the current through the resistance to ohms so what happens uh, we have to double the current means 2 amperes has to be changed to 4 amperes it can be changed to 4 ampere once you change the value of voltage Vs is equal to 8 because 8 by 4 
oh, sorry, 8 by 2 resistance, we will get the value as 4 amperes. So, 8 volts is the right answer. So, the current which is flowing in this is nothing but that is 2 amperes and the voltage which has to be doubled that is 8 volts. So, this is how you need to carefully answer the problems based upon the given question. In the next problem, it's a fill in the blank problem. It was asked in gate 2014 under set 3. Uh, in, in the year 2014, 15 and probably 16 also, we used to have sets of gate exam papers. We used to have two to three days per gate exams. So that's why set 1, set 2, set 3, set 4 question papers were prepared. Uh, so this problem is from question uh, paper which is given in set 3 the power delivered by the current source. So power delivered by the current source, 2 amperes is the uh, current source over here, this problem. So we need to find out the power delivered by it. So it's a good question to understand the basics. So here I'll have nodes here. So assuming three nodes, I'll assume three nodes here, V1, V2 and V3. So V1, V2, V3, three nodes are assumed here and the values are given as V1, V2 and V3. Also. Uh, you can observe the at this node and the ground node you have one volt so in fact v1 will be equivalent to one volt that is the first catch from this problem also observe v1 and v3 you have another voltage source one volt which is directly shared so it forms a super node so v1 minus v3 equal to one volt this is another uh, reduction which you can uh, clearly observed from the given uh, problem. Now applying KCL at this node 2, I am going to apply KCL at this node 2. So I am going to get V2 minus V1 by 1, this is branch current, plus V2 minus V3 by 1, this is another branch current flowing through this and current which is coming through as this node so it becomes minus 2 amperes is equal to 0. So solving this and substituting the values of V1 and V3 also you are going to get the value as 0 volts because uh, V1 is 1. So 1 minus V3 equal to 1. So V3 will be equal to 0. So V3 I am substituting the value as 0. Uh, V1 is equal to 1. So V1, 1 here, plus 2 V2 is equal to 2. So V2 will be obtaining its value as 3 by 2 volts. So once we are done with V2, and we know that the branch current which is flowing till this particular node is 2 amperes. So the power delivered will be equal to this voltage multiplied with this current. So V2 into 2, that is nothing but 3 by 2 into 2 becomes 3 watts. So the power delivered by the current source is 3 watts. So this is how we solve uh, pro uh, gate related problems. Uh, in order to understand uh, mesh analysis, node analysis and uh, KVL, KCL, you can look into my previous videos, uh, which are already present in this particular engineering, basic engineering concepts. Engineering basics for coming is in that you can see all the uh, videos uh, to get the clear concept about node voltages uh, and mesh currents, and then come back to uh, this particular uh, this particular video to understand the gate related problems. So I hope you have uh, understood some basics uh, related to gate exam problems which are framed under circuits and networks. So please share among your friends, subscribe to this channel, and please press the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you.